Welcome to Guitar Scientist. My name is Giuseppe Motta, or J. I made this website and in this video I'm going to give you a quick start guide on using it. Let's jump right in. This is the Guitar Scientist homepage after logging in. From the top menu you can visit the main sections of the site, explore the diagrams published by the community, create a diagram in the editor, use the trainer or visit the forum. To start editing all you have to do is click on the frets and the markers appear. Ta -da! Most of the functions are organized into panels, which can be opened using the icons in this left column. To remember what each of these buttons does, just look in the lower left corner. The box updates in real time, showing brief explanations of what you point with the mouse. If this interface looks too complex or obscure, there are two other interface options, the large interface and the simplified interface, and you can select them from the top menu. The large interface adds a label next to each icon. Each panel becomes a little bigger, but at least in the beginning it can help to have the purpose of each button written next to it. You can switch back and forth at any time, so it's your choice. The other one, the simplified interface, was designed for all users who were used to the old version of the editor. This interface contains only the functions already found in the old editor, including the old system with only two layers. For this video I will use the large interface, so that I will still have all functions available, but it will be easier for you to follow if you are new since all icons have a label. So to get you started let's have a look at a couple common things you may need right away. If you want to change the size and number of frets you can do so from the options panel. Each fretboard can have its own number of frets and its size, but you can also apply the settings to all fretboards at once. You can add more fretboards by clicking on this icon in the tools panel and you can also add text boxes. You can freely reposition the fretboards and the text boxes by dragging them from the top bar. To delete the fretboards click on the trash can icon on the toolbar of each fretboard. In this example I insert a pentatonic scale of G on layer 1. If I then move to layer 2 and insert a G minor chord I will then be able to independently view the two forms and how they overlap. You can also visualize the name of the note or the degree of each fret. The three icons at the top allow you to show automatic labels inside the markers. Obviously to show the intervals you will need to choose a root note and you can do that using the root selector function. If you are not editing the document you can visualize it more cleanly by removing the controls from individual fretboards or you can even hide the interface altogether. In order to save you will have to enter a title, click on the save icon, select at least one tag and then click on the save button. You will find the saved diagram in your profile and you will be able to modify it, duplicate it, open it from other devices, send it to friends or students, basically you will have a link pointing to your diagram. You can open it by clicking on the title in your profile or you can visualize it as an image by clicking on the quick view icon under the title. If on the other hand you want to download an image of this document on your computer, you can click on the image generation icon. A preview will open the generated image that you can download in PNG or PDF. To increase the size of the generated image you can use this button to select the resolution up to four times the original. There are quite a lot more functions in the editor, but in this video I only wanted to give you a quick overview. If you wish to learn more in detail how powerful this editor really is, check the links in the description for detailed tutorials on each and every function available, both in English and Italian. If you need support, remember there is a forum, have fun with the editor.